Good rains received last month revitalized crop growth and restored the hopes of a good harvest amongst farmers. However, their hopes are fading again with the outbreak of the American bollworms. Farmers in Oshikoto, Oshana, Omusati and Ohangwena regions reported the presence of the worms to the Ministry of Agriculture last week, expressing fear of a poor harvest due to the outbreak of the worms. Agricultural technicians in the ministry then advised villagers to use traditional methods to control the worms while they too try to control the outbreak. At Ohaushombo village in the Ongwedziva constituency, villagers are handpicking the worms and putting them in cans before destroying them. They say this is just an alternative as they cannot sit idle and watch their crops being destroyed by the worms. Today, the ministry dispatched a team to Ekalanaambo village in the Ondangwa constituency. The team advised farmers to use traditional methods of controlling the pest as they cannot spray the worms with pesticides which are too strong for both crops and animals. After all this mobilization meeting or awareness meeting that we conducted with the farmers, uh, most of them have said no to pesticide and of course yes it's a good thing. But there are biological and cultural methods that they can do to control the pest. Because uh, with the pesticide is the only is the last last option we go for after we try to do biological. Agricultural officials have classified the worms as the American bollworm, which they believe is intercontinental. Bollworm is the common term used for the larva of a moth that feeds on the plant's fruiting bodies. Hundreds, if not thousands, of eggs are laid inside the head of an immature millet plant and the larva feeds from inside the plant.